We were interested initially in the Deepwater Horizon oil spill because it represents or represented one of these big stressors to a modern food web. When you have these sorts of disasters, either natural disasters or in this case, a human-made disaster, we can look at what effects that might have. It's a big stressor. We looked at how the Eastern oyster would respond to having this oil in the water affecting the food web and also being affected or uh, directly impacted by the oil. What we found is that the, both the respiratory and the digestive tissues in oysters from the Gulf of Mexico are very abnormal. What we don't know yet, however, is if this is caused directly by the Deepwater Horizon oil spill because there's a lot of petroleum hydrocarbons in the Gulf of Mexico. The other things that we don't know is what impact, if any, this might have on fisheries productivity and what impact it might have on the oyster populations themselves. Do individuals have shorter lives? Do they produce fewer offspring? Uh, we don't know any of these things yet. What we do know is that in terms of those tissues, they're distinctly different.